Good evening and welcome to my channel. Uh, I am Manju Sharma and today I would be talking about the way you know you can install a custom component in Talent. So apart from the components that you get along with your Talent installation, the standard suite of it, the data integration or the big data platform that you're using, there are other components as well which the community has contributed and you can utilize those components in your uh, particular jobs and projects so how do you get to this page it's like very simple or uh, you click on you go to your browser you write talent exchange and then the first option that i usually get is exchange.talent.com so i click on this and then i land on this page so this is the home page for the talent exchange where you know it shows you all the components that have been contributed uh, by various contributors so for the first time when you kind of uh, try to access this page and try to download any of the components it will ask you to sign up once you sign signed up to this website the next option is like you sign into your account and then you can use any of the components so for the sake of this demo i have kind of downloaded this component uh, t file output pdf and just just because it was taking some time so i wish i could have done this live but then I'll show you how I've done. So I click on any of the components, uh, T and Pivot Row, for example. Compatibility. So this is like compatible with these versions of it. I am kind of not using any of these versions. I'm using 7.3 version of Talon. So anyways, I get an option to download it for free. I click on download. And again, I'll get a, get a button wherein, you know, I get an option to download. So once I click on that, the component gets uh, downloaded to my uh, local folders in my system. Here is this button. So once once you download that, uh, the components come and sit in these uh, in, in your downloads folder. So you get a zip file out of it. Uh, the next step is like you've got to extract the zip file to one of your folders. Uh, I've created a new folder out here in my g drive uh, i've named it as t custom t demo custom component and over there i've kept the unzipped version of that component so once i click on this i get the jar and the other uh, files that are there so the next step is like i do a control c of this path i go to my studio i see don't save I see preferences and here I use this path where I've kind of extracted the component. This usually takes a couple of minutes, so it's done. Quick apply and close. So I open any of the jobs. And over here I try to import the component the file output PDF so this is the component that I had kind of installed uh, earlier I'll show you over here and uh, this part so how did it land over here uh, it's like I go to the windows I go to preferences and I just set up the components in the talent tab of it and that's it so I'll quickly show you what happens, you know, if I remove this path, so the component would be gone. See, apply and close. Once I remove this path from here, the component would be unusable. You'll probably not see uh, the icon as well of this component. See, oh, it's kind of vanished. See, preferences, components and the folder. But remember, I'm, I'm giving the path until the folder that I had created, not the extracted part of it. I say apply and close. Oh. And this component is slowly and steadily, it is kind of fetching and the icon got created. Uh, best practice is you just remove this and use this one so this is 
the way you know you install a talent component custom component thank you guys have a good day bye bye